Do you also feel pain in the upper belly on a regular basis? So do not ignore this because it could be a sign that your pancreas is dying. Today, in this video, we will talk about many such symptoms which will show that your pancreas is in trouble. We will also know what function the pancreas does in our body, and we will try to know what happens if the pancreas dies. And in the last of this video, we will tell you about some such foods which will bring your dying pancreas back to life. Let's start with what function of pancreas in our body. The pancreas plays a pivotal role in our body's digestive and endocrine systems. Primarily, it aids in digestion by producing enzymes that help break down carbohydrates, protein, and fats in the small intestine. Additionally, it regulates blood sugar levels by secreting insulin and glucagon hormones crucial for maintaining stable glucose levels in the bloodstream. Without the proper functioning of the pancreas, digestion and blood sugar regulation can become severely compromised leading to a range of health issues. What will happen if your pancreas stops functioning? Let us know when the pancreas is failing or experiencing dysfunction. It can lead to serious consequences for overall health. Pancreatic insufficiency characterized by the inability to produce enough digestive enzymes can result in malabsorption of nutrients leading to weight loss, nutritional deficiencies, and gastrointestinal discomfort. Moreover, pancreatic disorders such as pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer can cause debilitating pain, jaundice, digestive disturbances, and even life-threatening complications if left untreated. Therefore, recognizing the signs of pancreatic distress and seeking timely medical attention is crucial for managing and potentially reversing pancreatic dysfunction. Let's discuss pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is a condition characterized by inflammation of the pancreas, which can cause severe abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and in severe cases organ damage. There are two primary types of pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis and chronic pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis typically develops suddenly and is often triggered by factors such as gallstones, excessive alcohol consumption, certain medications, or infections. Symptoms of acute pancreatitis can range from mild discomfort to severe abdominal pain and may require hospitalization for treatment. On the other hand, chronic pancreatitis is a long-term condition characterized by persistent inflammation and irreversible damage to the pancreas. Chronic pancreatitis often develops gradually over time, usually due to prolonged alcohol abuse or recurring episodes of acute pancreatitis. Symptoms of chronic pancreatitis can include persistent abdominal pain, weight loss, diarrhea, and fatty stools due to malabsorption of nutrients. Both acute and chronic pancreatitis require medical intervention to manage symptoms, prevent complications, and preserve pancreatic function. Treatment may involve pain management, dietary changes, enzyme supplementation, and in severe cases, surgical procedures to alleviate blockages or remove damaged tissue. Early diagnosis and proactive management are essential for improving outcomes and quality of life for individuals with pancreatitis. Causes of pancreatitis Pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas, can arise from various factors with gallstones and excessive alcohol consumption ranking among the primary culprits. Gallstones can obstruct pancreatic ducts, triggering inflammation and subsequent damage. Chronic alcohol abuse can chemically alter the pancreas, escalating the risk of inflammation. Additionally, trauma to the abdomen, such as from accidents, can induce pancreatitis. Certain medications, including antibiotics and diuretics, may also provoke the condition. Elevated triglyceride levels in the blood pose another risk factor, particularly if they are exceptionally high. Infections such as MS and autoimmune disorders, where the body mistakenly attacks the pancreas, can also incite inflammation. Moreover, genetic eye predispositions may contribute to pancreatitis, with specific mutations heightening susceptibility. Now we came to the main point. 10 symptoms on pancreases is dying. Let's start with symptom no first. Persistent abdominal pain. Persistent abdominal pain, particularly localized in the upper abdomen or radiating to the back is a hallmark symptom of pancreatic dysfunction. The pancreas, situated behind the stomach, is prone to inflammation and injury, often manifesting as dull gnawing pain that may intensify after meals or when lying flat. In cases of acute pancreatitis caused by factors such as gallstones, alcohol abuse, or trauma, the pain can be sudden and severe, prompting medical attention. 
chronic pancreatitis, marked by ongoing inflammation and scarring of pancreatic tissue, may result in recurrent episodes of abdominal discomfort, sometimes accompanied by weight loss and digestive disturbances. The pain associated with pancreatic dysfunction can be debilitating, impacting daily activities and quality of life. Symptom number two, digestive problems. Digestive problems, including nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and oily foul-smelling stools, are common manifestations of pancreatic insufficiency and malabsorption. The pancreas produces digestive enzymes such as amylase, lipase, and proteases essential for breaking down carbohydrates, fats, and proteins in the small intestine. When the pancreas is compromised either due to inflammation, obstruction, or enzyme deficiencies, proper digestion is impaired leading to gastrointestinal symptoms. Nausea and vomiting may result from the accumulation of undigested food in the stomach or irritation of the digestive tract. Diarrhea, often greasy and voluminous, occurs due to the incomplete absorption of fats, leading to excess fat content in the stool. Stools characterized by loose, pale, and foul smelling indicate inadequate digestion and absorption of fats, resulting in the excretion of undigested fat molecules. These digestive disturbances can contribute to nutrient deficiencies, weight loss, and dehydration if left unaddressed. Management typically involves enzyme replacement therapy and dietary modifications to improve digestion and alleviate symptoms. Symptom number three, unexplained weight loss. Unexplained weight loss is a concerning symptom often associated with pancreatic dysfunction, particularly in cases of chronic pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer. The pancreas plays a vital role in digestion by producing enzymes essential for breaking down food and facilitating nutrient absorption in the small intestine. When pancreatic function is compromised either due to inflammation, obstruction, or impaired enzyme production, the body may struggle to absorb essential nutrients effectively. This malabsorption can lead to a caloric deficit despite adequate food intake, resulting in unintended weight loss over time. Additionally, the metabolic changes associated with pancreatic disorders, such as increased energy expenditure and altered hormone levels, can further contribute to weight loss. In cases of pancreatic cancer, the tumor may also produce substances that induce metabolic alterations and promote weight loss. Symptom number four, jaundice. Jaundice, characterized by yellowing of the skin and eyes, is a notable sign of pancreatic dysfunction particularly when associated with obstruction of the bile duct. The pancreas produces digestive enzymes and bicarbonate that flow into the small intestine through the pancreatic duct. However, if the duct becomes blocked due to inflammation, gallstones, or tumors, bile produced by the liver may back up into the bloodstream, leading to elevated levels of bilirubin, a yellow pigment derived from the breakdown of red blood cells. Bilirubin accumulation manifests as jaundice, resulting in yellow discoloration of the skin, sclery the whites of the eyes, and mucous membranes. Other accompanying symptoms may include dark urine, pale stools, itching, and abdominal pain. Prompt evaluation is essential to identify the underlying cause of jaundice, as it can signify serious conditions such as pancreatic cancer, bilirubin obstruction, or liver disease. Treatment depends on the underlying cause and may involve interventions to relieve bile duct obstruction, manage symptoms, and address the underlying pancreatic disorder. Symptom number five, changes in blood sugar levels. Changes in blood sugar levels, characterized by fluctuations in glucose concentrations, can occur in individuals with pancreatic dysfunction, particularly those affecting insulin production or secretion. The pancreas plays a crucial role in regulating blood sugar levels by producing insulin, a hormone that facilitates glucose uptake by cells for energy utilization and storage. In conditions such as pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer, pancreatic tissue damage or impaired insulin secretion can disrupt glucose homeostasis, leading to hypoglycemia elevated blood sugar levels or hypoglycemia low blood sugar levels. Symptoms of hypoglycemia may include increased thirst, frequent urination, fatigue, blurred vision, and slow wound healing. Hypoglycemia, on the other hand, can cause symptoms such as sweating, shakiness, confusion, dizziness, and fainting. Individuals with pre-existing diabetes may experience worsening glycemic control or difficulty managing blood sugar levels when pancreatic dysfunction occurs. 
Close monitoring of blood sugar levels and appropriate management strategies are essential to prevent complications and maintain optimal health in individuals with pancreatic disorders. Symptom number six, back pain. Back pain, particularly in the upper abdomen that radiates to the back, is a common symptom associated with pancreatic disorders such as pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer. The pancreas is located behind the stomach, and inflammation or damage to this organ can cause discomfort that is felt in the back. In acute pancreatitis, sudden and severe back pain may be experienced, while chronic pancreatitis may cause recurrent episodes of dull, persistent back pain. It's essential to seek medical evaluation for persistent or severe back pain, as it may indicate underlying pancreatic issues that require treatment. Symptom number seven, digestive enzyme deficiencies. Digestive enzyme deficiencies are a hallmark of pancreatic dysfunction, particularly in conditions such as chronic pancreatitis or pancreatic insufficiency. The pancreas produces enzymes such as amylase, lipase, and proteases, which are essential for breaking down carbohydrates, fat, and proteins in the small intestine. When pancreatic function is impaired either due to inflammation, obstruction, or enzyme deficiencies, proper digestion is compromised. This can lead to symptoms such as bloating, abdominal discomfort, diarrhea, and malabsorption of nutrients. Management typically involves enzyme replacement therapy and dietary modifications to improve digestion and alleviate symptoms. Symptom number eight, fever and chills. Fever and chills may occur in cases of acute pancreatitis or pancreatic infections, indicating an inflammatory response or systemic infection. Acute pancreatitis, often triggered by factors such as gallstones or alcohol consumption, can lead to localized inflammation of the pancreas accompanied by fever and chills. Infections of the pancreas, although less common, can also cause similar symptoms. Fever is the body's natural response to infection or inflammation, while chills may accompany fever as the body attempts to raise its temperature. Prompt medical evaluation is essential to determine the underlying cause of fever and chills and initiate appropriate treatment. Symptom number nine, swollen abdomen. A swollen abdomen, also known as abdominal distension, can occur in individuals with pancreatic disorders such as pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer. Inflammation or fluid accumulation around the pancreas can lead to abdominal swelling, which may be accompanied by discomfort or tenderness. Pancreatitis, whether acute or chronic, can cause localized swelling due to inflammation of the pancreatic tissue. In cases of pancreatic cancer, a tumor in the pancreas or surrounding organs may lead to abdominal distension as it grows. Symptom number 10. Changes in urine or stool color. Changes in urine or stool color can occur in individuals with pancreatic dysfunction, particularly when associated with conditions such as pancreatic cancer pancreatitis, or bile duct obstruction. Dark urine may result from elevated levels of bilirubin in the bloodstream, indicating impaired liver function or obstruction of the bile duct. Pale colored stools, on the other hand, may indicate decreased bile flow into the intestine, leading to the absence of bilirubin-derived pigments in the stool. Now we will tell you three such foods which can recover the health of the pancreas. Let us know. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines are valuable additions to a diet aimed at supporting pancreatic health and recovery due to their abundance of omega-3 fatty acids, which possess potent anti-inflammatory properties. These nutrients play a crucial role in mitigating chronic inflammation, a common feature of pancreatic conditions such as pancreatitis. Moreover, their high-quality protein content and rich supply of essential nutrients like vitamin D and selenium contribute to overall health and bolster immune function. Leafy greens such as spinach, kale, and cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts are equally beneficial choices packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals essential for pancreatic health and recovery. If you found this information helpful, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on health and nutrition. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest videos. Thank you for watching Yene, and we look forward to sharing more valuable insights with you in the future.